This testing thing is taking too much time. I bet you have heard that, or maybe you feel that way. But the question is, why? And in my opinion, there's three main reasons for that. The first one is when you write your tests. And don't worry, I will not start here talking about the beauty of test-driven development, because I have done that in other videos that I will link on the top. I want to talk about the delay to the moment that you write the tests from the moment that you start writing the code. It might be a few days, it might be a few weeks, it might be months, and the longer it takes, the worse it will be. And why the moment matters? The first reason for that is the simple fact that your memory is not as good as you might think, unless you have photographic memory. What is not that common, let's face it. So, if your memory is not that good, when you decide to go back to the code and test it after a few weeks, what you will realize is that you don't remember the reasons why you took some decisions, the reasons why something has been implemented in a given way. Sometimes you not even remember what it's supposed to do. So if our memory is so fragile, why do we keep relying on it to get back into source code that has been written long time ago and now write the test for it. The effort involved to bring back all those memories to codify them in tests after a few months is massive. And that is one of the reasons why it takes so much time to write those tests. Not only that, but if your code has not been written to be testable, it will take a lot of time to put tests on top of it. Yes, I'm aware that you write perfect, elegant, beautiful code that is quite easy to test it. But let me tell you one secret, something that will be just between both of us. In the past, you were not as good as you are today. And let's not talk about your colleague. We have seen his code. So if today you are writing your code and you are not thinking about testing it, you are not thinking how it will be tested, how can you be sure that in two months it will be easy to test that code? You can't. Let's be honest. So in a couple of weeks, in a couple of months, if you go back and you try to put tests on top of it, eventually you will face some friction. You will need to refactor some things and that will increase the time to write those tests. So lesson number one, write your tests closer to the moment that you write your code. The second reason is that it's hard to write those tests and there's many possible explanations for that. How do you decide what types of things should be tested? How do you decide how to test those things. Often many of those things are part of the decisions that you take while implementing the code. Small examples like you need to react to a connection going down. What should you do? What your application should do when the connection to a given server is down? So you implement the solution for that, what the system should do on those scenarios. How should it behave? But if you don't code those tests right now, on that moment, on the moment that you take those decisions, eventually it will be hard to go back and understand the reasons for things like that to be there. And these type of decisions might not look like a relevant thing to test, but in fact they are. They are sometimes more important than those small edge case scenarios that you are trying to test. Because those things will happen, having the proper code for that is quite important. We are basically talking about documenting assumptions as tests, we are talking about how will we document our thinking process. And once again, we go back into our first reason, that it's easier to write those tests down in the moment that we are, in fact, doing it. In the moment that we are writing the code. Because if we don't do that, once again, writing those tests will be hard, it will be painful, because your code is not ready for that. And by the way, since we are talking about writing code that is easy to test, let me tell you that I'm working on something regarding writing testable code in C Sharp. So if you are a C Sharp developer, you might want to go to the link in the description to know more. And the final reason is the amount of time that it takes to have those tests, the amount of time that it takes to run those tests. When a test suite takes a few minutes to run, that becomes a problem. Now I will be inclined to take some breaks when I run the tests, so I will not run them as often, because I'm in the flow writing my code, I don't want to stop and wait, because I know that I will go to X, I will go to Reddit, I will just go to grab a coffee, so I will keep that 
for a different moment. And when I don't run those tests as often, I will lose part of the value of having those tests. Because tests is not only about having a safety net, it's also about making the developer productive. If the developer can't run a set of tests on his own machine, if I can't run them locally, if I can't have feedback just in a few seconds, I'm losing part of the most beautiful thing that tests has, that quick feedback cycle. And unfortunately, the industry has been avoiding unit tests in the past few years. So nowadays you can find huge code bases with a ton of end-to-end -end tests or integration tests because they cover more things, but they take a lot of time to run. And while in the beginning, when you are prototyping that solution, when you have your MVP of your product, that is not a big deal. In fact, that is quite fast to run. After a few years, you will be complaining of the amount of time that it takes to run that test suite. You will be digging into the code, trying to understand how to bring unit tests, because now you know the problem of only doing integration tests. And no, you, writing unit tests is not about writing one or more tests for every single line of code that you have, every single method, every single function. It's not about that. You can use things like sociable tests. You can bring back the idea of the testing pyramid. And once you start doing that, you start pushing those tests down into unit tests. Now your developers can run at least those on their own machine locally and having a quick feedback cycle, understanding quickly before pushing the code that something is wrong. And this is one of the most precious things about testing. So if you don't write your tests as soon as possible, obviously the code will not be as easy to test and naturally it will take more time to run. And all of that leads to the feeling that writing tests is a waste of time. And now is the moment when I finally invite you to take a look into test-driven development. Not that you will need it, you can achieve that quick feedback cycle without test-driven development, but it's a cool thing to know.